Hello everyone from Philippines, from Dumaguete City. This city is located in Negros Oriental province and it's known as City of Gentle People. A city that has become a second home for many foreigners who choose to live in the Philippines. This city has also become a popular destination for relocation because once, in 2014, it was included in a list of one of the best cities for retirement, according to Forbes magazine. The more expats from different countries came, the more city was changed. It adapts to their wishes and desires. More and more cafes and restaurants with cuisine from different countries opened. Stores with imported goods and products, bars mostly oriented on foreigners with their Filipina girlfriends, and other establishments like nightclubs began to appear here. There is another entertainment here in our city except sitting in the bars. There is a small water park in the pools of which you can hide from the heat of the day and entertain yourself on simple water attractions. Also, there is a long and very cozy boulevard along which the town people walking after 4 p.m. when it's not so hot anymore. You also can visit cinema in the mall, and sometimes there is a exhibitions and festivals here in our city. For example, the Buglasan Festival. During a couple of weeks, each of our province's towns will demonstrate what their village is famous for. Someone collect honey, someone build boats, someone grow mangoes. Something like an exhibition of national economic achievements. And all of this is accompanied by street dancing and processing in national costumes, street food, concerts, fireworks and celebrations. In such days, Philippines show its traditions and culture in all its glory to visiting guests from other countries. <laughs> Crowded by expats from different countries, city has changed. I was in another provinces and mid-sized cities in the Philippines, and I can say for sure Dumaguete is different from them. Visitors trying to bring here their habits and lifestyle, and local people already used to a lot of foreigners on the street. Once city of gentle people began to be called not Dumaguete, but Dramaguete. Almost every day in news groups I heard about conflicts and fights involving foreigners. Someone fight for another's Filipina girlfriend attention. Someone tried to open their own business with someone else and now they cannot split it. Someone was angry because of Filipina driving style and he decided to teach local people how to drive properly, despite the fact that he himself was drunk during driving that moment. And someone just fought because of politics situation. Just try to search Dumaguete drama in YouTube to understand what I'm talking about. I have been living in this city for five years already. Here is my friends. Here I already know every corner and have been almost in all popular places in city itself and its surroundings like beaches, hot springs, resorts, mountains, waterfalls. But sometimes I just want to get out from the city and go somewhere where I have never been before. Where I can stay alone with my thoughts and enjoy the nature without crowds of people around. 
to get away from the drama and intrigues of our city. And it is not necessary to go far to the end of this island or to another island. For five years of living here, sometimes I discover amazing places around where I have never been yet and what only some people know about. This time, my guide to non-touristic places took me to so-called Prayer Mountain. By the way, don't forget to watch our previous trip to one of the waterfalls. Link on this video will be in the pop-up and in the description below. From the city, we had to climb quite high in the mountain on a motorbike. We probably drove for about an hour. From the beginning, we went up to the town of Valencia. From there, even higher into the mountains, we drove past a popular place where, thanks to volcanic activity, hot springs come to the surface. We drove higher and higher into the mountains, leaving behind all the trails known to tourists until the road ended. This was a sure sign that we were on the right path and had to continue on our foot from here. Hi, Lichon. The path leading up to the prayer mountain was completely unmarkable and we would never have to find it without help of local people. And when we finally came to the top, literally stunning landscape appears before our eyes. This peak is a really good place to be alone with nature and put your thoughts in order. We were unable to stay on this top for long due to the scorching sun, and there is no any shelter from it here. After Prayer Mountain, we decided to explore another place. There was a waterfall nearby on the map, which we had never heard about before, so we decided to check the road to it. Hello. What's that? It's Salamunga. Why it's like that? Because it's there is just one it is really amazing that even so high in the mountains, far from any services and infrastructure, people still live here. Here and there we came across someone's houses. Would you like to live in a place like that? Tell me in the comments. Here in this place, wild monkeys show themselves. We got to the place where it's supposed to be waterfall, but couldn't find any way to it. Also, we clearly heard the sound of water somewhere below. Later, local people said that after a terrible typhoon that happened in 2020, the road to the waterfall was destroyed. Well, we didn't know that. But here, first time in my life, I tasted the fruits of ripe cacao straight from the tree. It tastes sweet and sour. Also, we couldn't find waterfall. Here in the mountains, we find a very nice cafe with a stunning view. It's called Chosen Cafe, where we stayed until evening. One coffee. Sometimes, when I want to get out of the city and clean up the mess in my mind, I just get on my bike and ride. I just travel for so long and so far I only can. Sometimes it's only in the way I can find my peace. This time I went to the city of Bayawan, which is located 100 kilometers from Dumaguete. Bayawan is a very cozy city located 100 km far from Dumaguete, in Negros Oriental province. It has a very nice boulevard connected with pretty sandy beach. Here I rented a room in pension house for just 650 pesos per night. This room doesn't have any aircon, but it's fine. 
at least it have electric fan and window. Room with aircon in this pension house cost 950 pesos. After 6 pm in Baiwan city was street food festival with different foods available. Unlimited? Yeah. How much is this? 199 per head. 199 per head? And eat everything again? Wow. Yes, sir. I spent in Baiwan city only one night and next morning have to back to Dumaguete. And yet there is no better way to abstract from the world around than to put yourself under the water. Only here, in the darkness of endless water, you can realize the gracefulness of nature comparing the man. I passed by this place many times and I didn't even know it exists. As written on the sign, there is a stingray sanctuary here, and perhaps we will be lucky enough to see them today. We didn't saw any stingrays here and because it's a marine sanctuary you have to pay 50 pesos for snorkeling here. The guy who is on duty there, who is guard, told us that you can find stingrays deep in a 15 meters and only divers can find it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, just give me your like, comment and subscription to my channel. If you don't like it, just tell me why in comments. Thank you and peace to everyone.